11-year-old Bello was rescued from the River Trent in January last year by passerby Jane Harper. Jane spotted Bella struggling in the water where she had been left to die after struggling for hours. Following 15 months of rehabilitation, this 11-year-old dog has now found a new home in Derbyshire. It was brought to the RSPCA and is now living with Maggie Mellish, 79, and Charlie Douglas, 70. The retired couple are described as a perfect match for Bella with Charlie revealing, we were horrified by what happened to Bella and when we came to see her, we realized what a great personality she has and she really is perfect for us. Bella was said to be fortunate to survive her ordeal in the freezing cold water and it was later discovered that she had a range of complex health needs. Bella's former owner Charlene Latham, 32, was sentenced to a 12 months community order last month after she pleaded guilty to causing unnecessary suffering to her pet. She was also fined 80 pounds, ordered to pay 200 pounds cost and a 32 pound victim surcharge, and disqualified from keeping dogs for three years at Nottingham Magistrates Court. The court heard how Bella's owner Latham, now living in Ilfracombe, Devon had begged her ex-partner Lee Johnson, 33, not to drown the dog, but Latham did not go and get help. The RSPCA said it did not have enough evidence to prosecute Johnson, who denied the charge. Bella was found up to her neck in water, in the River Trent, in Farm, and Nottinghamshire in January last year. At the time of the incident, locals jumped in to help Bella with one man placing several towels on top of her to warm her up. Ella Carpenter manager at Ragliff Animal Center described the incident during an appearance on this morning last month. There was a deliberate attempt to drown her, said Ella, thrown into the river trend in the middle of the night. She spent hours there until thankfully two dog walkers spotted her moving and her eyes flicker in the water around 8 o'clock in the morning. They acted quickly and they got into the water very bravely. They pulled her out and upon doing that discovered that she was tied to a rock and the enormity of what was a deliberate attempt to drown her hit home. And they called the police and they got her to a local veterinary surgeon and then here to start her recovery. A police officer pictured showing the rock which Bella's cruel former owner had attached to her leash to drown her. After seeing the appeal in the press, Maggie and Charlie got in touch with the animal center. Maggie said, We as a family have three shepherd-type dogs over the last 30 years and really love them. We lost our rescue dog, Taya and Lumet, two years ago and my daughter's dog, Flame, this year. We did really miss them. Then we saw Bella's story in the press a few weeks ago and the fact that she needed a home so my daughter, Claire Lusher, encouraged us to apply for her. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Bella was taken under the care of the RSPCA after the incident who nursed her back to health. Bella was traumatized by her experience and longed to find a loving family. It took 15 months to rehabilitate her. We know she will need regular vet appointments and are willing to finance those. We know she is in her older years, but we just want to offer her a loving home. She's so deserving after all she has been through. We are both retired, so she will have our company constantly, which is what she really needs, and it will be great for us too. Meanwhile, Charlie confessed they had been stunned to learn what had happened to the pup, saying, we were horrified by what had happened to Bella and when we came to see her, we realized what a great personality she has and she really is perfect for us. Bella resting after her ordeal in 2020, the pup has now fully recovered and lies happier days with her new owners. Yesterday, the couple went to enjoy some time with their new pet at the center, which has cared for her ahead of her moving in with them today. Bella's rescuers Jane and her friend Joanne Bellamy were also invited along to Ragliff Animal Center in Nottingham to witness the happy occasion. Jane said, It is quite emotional seeing Bella as it brings back memories of that terrible day, but we are thrilled to see how she has been transformed by the staff here at the RSPCA. She looks like a different dog, her coat is beautiful, and she looks so happy and full of life. It is great to see how she has been rehabilitated and that she is now going to spend the rest of her days at a loving home. Bella was later transferred into the care of the RSPCA Ragliff Animal Center in Nottingham, where she fought back to good health. Jane Harper and Joanne Bellamy, who helped rescue Bella, were reunited with her as she was adopted by a loving new family. It was so nice to meet Bella's new owners, and we have said, we will keep in touch. 
Meanwhile, Ella added, this is the perfect, happy ending to a story which started off so sad and there were real doubts of Bella could pull through after her terrible ordeal. At times we thought she just wouldn't make it with her age and underlying health conditions all against her. But Bella has fought every day showing enviable strength and courage, not wanting to give up her fight to recover. Our animal care, assistant Sophie Major has worked so hard and given so much love to Bella to help her as have the rest of the team, and I know she is going to be missed so much. But we know Bella will now be able to live out the rest of her life with the love and respect that she has always deserved. Maggie and Charlie really are perfect with their experience of this breed, and they are aware of the challenges of her care as an elderly dog, but are happy to take her in for however long she has left. They have a large secure garden, which Bella needs as she does not like to be around other dogs, and they have plenty of time and love to give to her. The news comes weeks after a new government back bill introducing tougher punishments for animal abusers passed through the House of Commons. The Animal Welfare Sentencing Bill will increase the maximum sentence for animal cruelty offenses from six months in prison to five years. The proposed legislation was approved in the House of Commons earlier this week and now must undergo further scrutiny before the House of Lords.